everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the December Owl Crate. So yes, you heard me correctly, I said December. I have just gotten lost in the chaos of the end of the year. Like, the thing with the end of the year, <coughs> that was weird um is the fact that it's not just one thing it's like 12 million things pile up so work gets crazy like I was working way more than I usually do because I work in retail so I mean they need me like it's crazy I do book miss so I'm doing 12 straight days of videos I have final exams and final projects my family's coming home so it's really busy with that we have Christmas parties we have Christmas itself we have New Year's it's just like non-stop one thing after the other and then of course on Christmas Day I got a really bad cold which lasted for like a week so I just these have honestly been here I have two unboxings that I'm doing today and these boxes have honestly been here for a very long time they have been sitting at my desk and I just haven't gotten the chance to unbox them so it has been killing me but today I am finally getting to it which I'm really excited about um, I'm sorry that these are coming so late I mean they are from last year but but it is fine. We are getting back on schedule. I mean, look at the amount of reviews that I have to do. Wait, right there. That pile of books with the blue book on the bottom, which is Gemina. I have to review all of those. There's like one, two, there's six books there. I have six reviews that have been backlogged. I just, oh, I can't wait to get back on schedule. But anyways, I'm going to get to unboxing this. Thank you once again to Owl Crate for sending me their subscription box. They are the best. They sent me a Christmas card. It made my day. It had little stickers in it. It was awesome. But I'm really excited to get into this one. I totally forget the theme. What was it? Oh my god, I forget the theme. I will get to the theme once I open it apparently. But if you guys want to check out Owl Crate, I highly recommend that you do. I will link all their information down below and I have a coupon code for you guys that will be down below as well. So the theme for this month is epic. I remember just by looking at this very pretty card. It has like Aslan on it. Um, it has, I think it's the one girl from Game of Thrones, which I don't watch, but the dragon girl. Can't say her name. Um, it has Tumnus on here. It looks like it has Lord of the Rings characters and it also has Hagrid. How cute. I always love these little cards. They are so well designed. So this has spoilers for everything that is going on here. So I'm not going to read it yet. So the first thing that we have in here is this little Funko Mystery Pop. I am all about Funko Pops and I love the little Mystery Pops because they're so small and this is a Harry Potter one so I'm so excited to see which one I got. Okay so the mystery. I think I know which one it is. Where are they? I really want Hedwig or Crookshanks because I have a little ginger cat so I kind of want a little ginger cat. Dobby's really cute too. I honestly wouldn't be mad about any of them. Fang? Oh my god, I just want to collect them all. Okay, let's open this up. So I was right, I got Scabbers. He is absolutely adorable. He's so little and I think he's going to be very happy on my bookshelf. So he is so adorable and I have the feeling this is the beginning of a very bad habit of collecting these. So next up in here we have a little Lord of the Rings pin. I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I I guess I can't really say I'm not a fan. I've never read the books or seen the movies. I've only read The Hobbit and I wasn't a huge fan of that because I'm not really into things where they're just like walking and it's just a journey. I'm not super into that so I didn't find that the most enjoyable but I will probably give Lord of the Rings a try at some point in my life. They're just so big so I just haven't gotten to it yet but this pin is really pretty and it was made by Jane Mount it is just very very nice also wanted to show you guys this pin up close you can see it's very pretty and I'm sure if I was really into Lord of the Rings I would very much appreciate it also my one nail is chipped which is very annoying next up in here is this little Game of Thrones coasters I once again am not super into Game of Thrones I've never gotten into it I tried watching the TV show and I just never got to it and once again the books are huge so I will probably read them eventually but I just have not really been able to just sit myself down and read a book that's that giant but these look like they're really cool and my sister is actually a really big fan of Game of Thrones so I think I might give these to her. Next up in here is a little card it's just a, um, a blank card and it is by Suzanne Draws and it is Narnia so I really like this it has like the whole lamppost and everything and uh, Lucy on it and and then you can see Mr. Tumnus. It is just very adorable and I love that scene. Next up is a new thing that they kind of started this past year. I don't remember when. I think it was in September but they send along these little buttons that match the um 
this card that you get so we have this little button here which has it looks like an owl skull or something like that but it looks really cool so you can see it is very pretty so I'm sorry if the camera moved a little bit I felt like it was awkwardly facing that way a little bit I don't know that was weird but the next thing in here is this sticker and it says I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still and it's a quote from a darker shade of magic by V.E. Schwab I haven't read that book yet but I really wanted to and this quote really piques my interest I just want to see who made this um, so it's designed by Miss Phi and I guess the final book in the trilogy is coming out soon so I might start collecting them in paperback because I just really like I love this quote and I did enjoy the Savage Song by Victoria Schwab so I think that I might really like this one and the final thing in here is the book for the month and I actually already knew what the book was because someone had spoiled it for me which is fine I mean it happens but just keep in mind before you comment on any of my videos saying what the book is I live in Canada so the Owl Crate takes a little bit longer to get to me than it does to other people because it's technically international shipping even though Owl Crate is based out of Canada they ship from the States I don't really know but whatever so it does take me a little bit to get them so I usually get them later than other people and I try not to get spoiled but just keep in mind before you tell me what the book is or like speculate I just like to be surprised but it was good that I knew because I actually already owned a copy of this book so I was able to return it and now I have it again and that is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. I have been hearing so much buzz about this book because it is a lesbian princess story which sounds just so amazing and amazingly diverse and just awesome and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just gonna open this up. It always gets really loud when I do this part. But in here we have a bookmark and it says an atmospheric and romantic debut and I'm very excited to use this bookmark because I like using matching bookmarks for my books. And then we also have as usual a note from the author and then we have the book right here which I am so excited to have. Honestly I'm very intrigued by this story. It's all about a girl who she's set to marry this prince but then she ends up falling in love with the prince's sister instead which just sounds absolutely amazing. I'm all for princess stories and I think reading about a lesbian princess is going to be really awesome so I'm very excited about it. Also we've got a beautiful map in here and I'm all about maps. So it is all for the unboxing of the December Owl Crate. Like I said if you guys want to get your hands on your own Owl Crate I highly recommend them. They are awesome. I've never been disappointed with their boxes before but I will have them linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you once again to Owl Crate for sending me their subscription box and yeah I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!